Hi, this is Obake-san's Ghost, playing Link's Decision 2, Kronos the Tears of Fate, on Zelda Classic. We got through the first part of level 5. We're going to spend all of our money on a super bomb. Um, not for the next level, but something else. And we're going to clean out a couple of things on the mountain on our way out. And then the silver arrows we just got will get us to the next class dungeons. And you may have noticed the statue. They have uh, now fallen. Uh, that was the button that we stepped on in the last dungeon in the uh, right hand leg, I guess. And here's the first place where it's actually useful. I was using this as a decoration, but I think it belongs with you. I guess that's just the first one. We must have just gotten a full heart container. Um, but yeah, the uh, statues all fall now. And we hadn't actually gone into the mountain in the present, but the statues were there too. And actually in the exact same location. So uh, we will see the same thing when we get to the present mountain, but I guess I could talk about uh, trying to avoid dark nuts now. Um, hard mode. I've mentioned this once or twice, and what this actually is, is a separate quest file that you can play, and it is just a um, more difficult uh, version of the game. So some screens, enemies have been added or uh, enemies have been made more difficult. So uh, you know, every screen has a little bit of a difficulty increase and some of the rules were um, not as favorable, so like you can get hurt with your own bombs in hard mode. And a bunch of the Zelda quests actually do have two difficulty levels, um, and some including selecting in the game. And yeah, there are ways to do that with um, version 2.10 that I'm using for the Zelda quest, but it takes up a lot, and uh, this quest has already used up everything, so it actually wouldn't be able to fit in the same file, uh, but I didn't want to go through the effort of all of that, it's much easier to deal with two separate quest files. Uh, so we are going to go get a little bit of money before we go. And hopefully not get hit by rocks more than a dozen times. But uh, this spot right here is suspicious. The MC Bat Commander, Crash McLarson, Ricky Fitness, Eagle Bones, Falcon Hawk, Jimmy the Robot. Uh, so these are the Aquabats. They're a band from the 90s, I guess, originally. Uh, punk, ska, they also switch to electronic music. And uh, they dress as superheroes who go to, um, yeah, fight crime. Groups. That is not the item I wanted to be on. Um, and actually, uh, about a decade ago, they got their own TV show uh, where they played superheroes, basically the same exact thing. They even actually won a daytime Emmy for it. And, um... Let's see, we need to get a super bomb, and where 
where can we find that shop? I don't think it was that the Oh. Okay. And yeah, a lot of money for the super bombs. And um So yeah, the hard mode, you might think, you know. I got the idea from a different quest, and yeah, sort of yes and sort of no. Um, Link's Decision 1 back in uh, 2007, that actually had two quest files also. There was the original mode, and then there was an easy mode, and uh, the easy mode was just enemies removed from the whole thing. Uh, so let's see, we've got to go to the past to get to the town. Um, and really the easy mode was, uh, it was an extremely difficult game. Uh, there were some complaints from people, along with some praise from others, about how difficult the game was. So, uh, I eventually relented and made an easy mode to the game. And honestly, the easy mode of that game is probably just as difficult as the hard mode of Link's Decision 2. So, um, that should tell you just kind of how difficult that game actually was. And here we are. Um, so we've got the class area here. Uh, one thing before we go, uh, I mentioned previously that the screen above this was the only one where they reused the same text, so, uh, the, the future and the present said the same thing, and here is almost the same. Fellow Knight, welcome. If you'll just let me check your badge, you can go through and pick it up in the next room. That's where it ended before. I know what you're thinking, but we have to read this from a script. I think it's called a strand. And the text things that uh, the game uses for each of the characters and stuff like that, they're called strings, not strands. And this is the uh, first class dungeon here. This is going to be a pretty long dungeon. And yeah, we'll just have to see how uh, long it takes to get through this. Um, because uh, I really don't think there's going to be enough time to go through uh, the other class dungeon. Uh, I guess that was an item bubble. Temporarily removed my V item so I couldn't boomerang the uh, genie post the meat. So yeah, hard mode, uh, I got the idea from the original Link's decision, but I can't say whether the original Link's decision was taken, you know, the idea was taken for that from another quest I played. Um, could also be just something somebody on the forum suggested about it. But, um, so yeah, uh, although I copied it off of my own game, I can't say for sure where that game got it from. So yeah, that's about it for hard mode. Like this room would probably have six um, dark nuts instead of four. And that's just kind of what you can what you can expect from the hard mode of the game. And the 
music here is from Mega Man X2. This is the um, Bubble Crab level. I know they used Bubble Man in one of the early Mega Man games, but this is the X series. And, I mean, there's only so many you can do. So we're gonna have to go down this side. Uh, gotta be careful around these statues. They're just gonna distract me from avoiding things that do a lot of damage. The Paul's voice here and the uh, fireball that the um, skeleton things that folks can use, and I guess they really want me to continue with this box bait. Uh, some like likes. I don't even have to deal with these things. I got the item from the level. There were no pushable blocks there. So I'm just going to keep going this way. Uh, some more ghosts, but whatever. Nope, nothing from this, so, uh, whatever. And some random Dodongos. Fine. They're easy enough to deal with. Right, they want to play rough. I like killing one of them the regular way because they drop hearts and money from it. Oh, and I guess that's something that needs to be fixed. I'll make note of that later. Not really having any problems with health here. That's, uh, good, but I'm able to avoid the spikes so far. Of course, I do have the magic boots. Oh, and a key. And I will take whatever money they are willing to give me. Back off to the west. South from there does not lead to anything good yet. Uh, and of course, the enemies are back. And here is that locked door. Oh, come on. Um, not good to get trapped between two dark nuts. We will continue on to the west for the moment. Still getting what I can. Uh, Zoras here. We don't actually have to kill the Zoras to open the door or when there's an item to get the item. Uh, they just kind of don't count as enemies for that. Which makes sense for some cases because uh, some rooms they uh, could appear anywhere difficult to catch, you know, kind of catch up to them to, to kill them. Oh, block puzzles. I had forgotten all about these. Uh, but I think that one works pretty easily. And I guess... 
we'll just have to keep going here. Uh, I don't think it matters which way we go first. Well, at least these things are easy. Another key. And of course, these things, uh, the fire tribbles that turn into other fire tribbles if you leave the bats alone long enough. Yeah. They always reappear. It's just kind of how they are in the game. And back to throwing my sword. One more key for me. without having to worry about the fireballs hitting me. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk across those. Don't have to run through and dodge. It wastes a little bit of magic, but as we just saw, these guys frequently drop magic when they die, or at least the bat versions of them do. Oh, and now we gotta get back. Uh... fast, but we can stay ahead of them. Much easier than the uh, faster death knights. Plus, these things turn into regular blue dark nuts, which drop hell. So, can be good, and there's the boss key. We've got a ways to go back, but it won't take very long. And now is when we can take that other path. Of 
unfortunately all these enemies are still dead. Otherwise we have to fight our way uh, through some of these. Well, these guys aren't dead, but we don't have to fight them. Uh... item that gives you a uh, infinite key so you can go into any door you want other than boss doors. We're going to skip that just for, um, I, I guess to show the continuity of the game or whatever, I don't know. But we're going to end it here so um, we will get to the other class dungeon next time. So thanks for watching.